medical equipment that every jiu-jitsu athlete should consider owning at home. I'd like to make some humble suggestions that are inexpensive, practical, and important. Most of these recommendations will focus on vital signs because stable vital signs are important to health and athletic performance. The first piece of equipment to consider is an inexpensive, accurate weight scale. Most athletes like to weigh themselves two to five times a week, in the morning, without clothes on, after emptying his or her bladder. We are looking for patterns. Of course, weight will vary a little bit day to day, depending upon what we ate the day before, whether we evacuated our bowels, etc. But we're looking for patterns. Ideally, we want to shoot for a body mass index of 24.9 or below. The second piece of equipment would be an inexpensive, accurate electronic blood pressure cuff. One can sit for five minutes in a chair, legs uncrossed, relaxed, and take the blood pressure. Ideally, we want to shoot for a blood pressure of around 120 over 80. If someone has a resting blood pressure of 150 over 90, he or she won't feel well and won't perform well. So controlled blood pressure is critical for health and athletic performance. The next piece of equipment would be an inexpensive, accurate pulse oximeter. The pulse oximeter measures the oxygen saturation in the blood and the resting pulse. Ideally, you want to leave this on while you're sitting for about two minutes, and a resting oxygen saturation of 95 to 100 would be considered normal for most healthy adults, and a resting pulse of 60 to 100 would be considered normal. One can see if one has a resting oxygen saturation of 85%, there may be an undiagnosed medical condition that is contributing. Or, if someone has a resting pulse rate of 120, there may be a medical condition, for example, undiagnosed new onset atrial fibrillation that needs to be evaluated and treated. If one has a low oxygen saturation or a resting tachycardia, pulse above 100, he or she may not feel well and athletic performance will suffer. The next piece of inexpensive equipment would be a step tracker. Try to shoot for six to 10,000 steps throughout the day. Walking throughout the day is time efficient and is excellent for overall health and athletic performance. The next piece of equipment one may consider is an inexpensive over-the-counter glucose monitor. Impaired glucose tolerance, otherwise known as prediabetes, and type 2 diabetes mellitus are very common among athletes. Checking one's fasting blood sugar in the morning prior to eating, ideally we want to see it under 100. Otherwise, something a little more sophisticated can be an over-the-counter continuous glucose monitoring system where you purchase a patch that goes on your deltoid area or your triceps area and stays on for 15 days and continuously monitors the blood glucose and sends the values to your iPhone or other cell phone. This can be very effective as some people spike blood sugar with certain foods and not others, etc. And this can give a lot of data. The last piece of equipment that I would consider an honorable mention would be a pill cutter. Many over-the-counter and prescription medications trigger side effects that are considered ergolytic. Ergolytic is performance diminishing, ergogenic is performance enhancing. Many, many over-the-counter and prescription medications can trigger fatigue, sedation, muscle aches, joint aches, etc. For example, if I purchase an over-the-counter allergy medication that I plan to take at bedtime every night, perhaps I can use my pill cutter to start with half a tablet or a quarter tablet and find that minimum effective dose for me, minimizing potential side effects. So my humble recommendations would be a weight scale, a blood pressure cuff, a pulse oximeter, a step tracker, a glucose meter or over-the-counter continuous glucose monitoring system, and a pill cutter.